In this video lecture, I will discuss about automata theory. So, what is automata theory? The finite automata theory is the study of abstract machine or computing devices. Uh, the automata theory, even though it was originally proposed to model brain function, it was extremely useful for variety of other purposes. So, originally it was proposed to model brain function. Okay. Originally proposed to model brain function, but useful to other purposes also. And it is useful model in both hardware and software. So useful for both hardware and software. Now, <clears throat> uh, we have to note down, for example, if I say in our daily life, we still remember some of the past events and some which are not very important for us we forget so these events might have played very important role and based on those events our course of action changes and the outcome of the action also changes accordingly so we can say finite automata some points might change the output of the system and some points will not affect the output Okay, so these point which affect the output of the system are called states. Okay, and each finite automata has some states which it can remember useful information. So, let us see what is finite automata. So, this is the example of finite automata. So, on off switch, you can see here. These are the two states which is represented using circle on and off and uh, uh, this is the action which we take. So, when the switch is in off state and if we take the action push, what is happening? The machine is going to the state on and when we are in on state and if we uh, take the action push, the machine is going to off state. So, these two are the states on and off and this push is the action okay let's take another example uh, uh, the finite automata a finite automata to accept an identifier okay so automata can be represented using directed graph with vertices representing the states so we can say vertices representing states here okay and the edges representing the transition and the transition from one state to another state so we can say a finite automata will be a directed graph so directed graph i hope you people already know what is directed graph so, directed graph means uh, where the direction will also be involved, okay. So, we will be having the vertices. So, this circle is nothing but the vertices and these arcs connecting these uh, circles are known as the edges. So, there will be direction involved means off to on the direction uh, of the edges from off to on. Here, the direction of the edges from on to off. So, that is called as directed graph and the labels of the graph represent the input to be given from one state to another state so label you can see here this arc the label is push so this label on arc represent input given from one state to another state okay so uh, we know what is uh, valid what is an identifier so identifier it should be uh, the combination of letters and digits so it 
cannot start with digit it has to start it has to always start with letter and that letter can be small letter or capital letter okay so we'll say uh, machine will be initially these are the states if i say zero is the state the initial state and if i give input letter okay machine is going to state one and then after letter i can give any combination of letter and digit okay and if i start with digit if my first symbol is only digit then what will happen it has to go to dead state okay so if at this point if you're not understanding don't worry later on uh, i'll be explaining in detail how to design a finite automata that time you will understand in a better way okay so this is the example of uh, finite automata to accept an identifier so what is happening here and always remember when we design a finite automata there will be one start state and one uh, final uh, at least one final state okay so one start state and at least one final state so the start state will be represented using the circle with arrow and we write start here and the final state will be represented using two circles okay so here the machine will be initially in the start state zero and if the input is a letter it is a valid identifier and enters it enters into the state one in this state if the input contains a string of any combination of letter and digits the string will be accepted by the machine and the machine stays in state one accepting all the digits and the letters and here the two circle represent the final state or an accepting state of the finite auto meta in state zero if the first input is a digit what is happening the symbol is invalid and enters into the state two which is the rejecting state so we can say this is accepting state and this is rejecting state uh, and once the machine enter into the rejecting state the input string should be rejected and so the machine stays in state two only so how to design it that will be discussed in the uh, discussed later okay so you have to know this is how uh, finite automata will be will be having some state finite number of states will be having one start state and at least one final state and then there will be some uh, input given and based on the that will be nothing but the action so based on the action machine will decide where i mean whether uh, how what will be the transition from one state to another state will be decided by the input given to that particular state so <clears throat> uh, hope you have understood what is finite automata and then let's uh, see some of the application of the finite automata so uh, finite automata these are some of the application uh, software uh, for designing and checking the behavior of the digital circuits software for verifying systems of all types that have a finite number of states and scanning large bodies of text so in design of digital circuit what happens the checking uh, checking the behavior of the digital circuit using software there we can uh, uh, apply the concept of finite automata and in compiler design during compilation the lexical analyzer which is a part of the compiler it breaks the input into various uh, logical units such as identifiers keywords and punctuations and in designing a software for identifying the words phrases and other patterns in large bodies of the text such as uh, we can say the collection of web pages there also we can apply con finite automata concept and in building the software to verify the systems having finite number of states for example in communication protocol so these are some of the application where finite automata will be used uh, hope you have understood the concept thanks for watching